Welcome back to Dishing It. It's almost ready, this creamy Tuscan chicken. Mm -hmm. And during the commercial, our camera op, Adam, had a great idea. He goes, yes. you know what? This would be perfect over pasta. I know, and now I'm craving pasta with my creamy Tuscan chicken. And Kelly said, I'm not eating it I without said, pasta. I don't think I can eat it without pasta now. Look I need, how good that looks. I need something uh. to fill up my belly. Oh my goodness. Doesn't that look so pretty? It does look so good. Oh. Tomatoes are perfectly plump. Yes. Still has their Heavy shape. Heavy cream in everything makes it better, mm. don't you think? Oh my gosh, yeah. And if you're on a keto, you can do that. This actually by itself is pretty darn yeah, keto. Yeah, keto. It pretty, it pretty much is. Because you got the chicken, you got the heavy cream, you yeah. got all the fats. Is the butter keto also? Butter is, yeah. yes. Mm hmm. Okay. The only thing slightly, I mean, I'm, I'm never really strict, but because I love, like technically on keto, you're not supposed to do onions, but I love onions. You're not? Yes. And then tomatoes are okay. They're not, there's a whole, like to me, the most keto is like cauliflower, Brussels sprouts. Asparagus. Huh. Um, and well, when you've I studied that more than I have, I wonder what it is about onions that's not keto. Well, the first thing I was looking at when I when, no, here's the thing. When I started looking into it, uh -huh. I was starting just to cut sugar out of my diet. Uh -huh. Then I found this place and it was like a keto friendly. It was basically saying don't eat any vegetable that grows underground. Oh, right, right. I've heard that. So to me, it's like, like potatoes, potatoes, onions, sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes onions. Potatoes. Yes, if it yeah. grows underground, no. Right. But yeah, on the flip side. Corn is high in carbon, it grows above ground. That so. is true, that is true. So, yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so what would not be keto off. friendly is if we had some pasta, but. Yes. That's okay. But, you it's know early what? in the day, you know, you can burn those, you can burn it off. those calories off. And also, too, um, I have shown, and uh, Haley Page has brought in from Price Cutter. Oh, I showed yes. that pasta Cauliflower that. Cauliflower is, pasta. Yeah, the low carb pasta yeah. available in the, like, in the organic and paleo and keto section at yeah. Price Cutter. So you, that does help. And they do have it. And honestly, I don't eat pasta that much. I, I, I don't either. I hardly no. ever order it. But mm -mm. so since, see, and this is how I ration. Since I don't do it very much, give me some real pasta. Give me some pasta. Yeah. So I, I think it's ready to. Okay. Now, should, wanna, what do you want to do? Because we need know. to cut it into smaller okay, pieces, so I think. Here, you want to cut the chicken and then put it back in there? or? You know what? What if I just do this really quick? Okay. Let me just make one pretty one. We, were, we weren't going to do this, but then yeah, I'm we like, well, present, but we weren't going to because right, it's so, we'll get, yeah. but let's just present this yeah. with some goodness. Oh, that looks so pretty. Look how pretty. That's party. A little sauce. Yeah. And just make it look pretty, and then we can cut the chicken from there and put it on our plates. Okay. I like and that. hopefully that plate will help cool it down a little oh, bit. Oh, that's a good idea. But okay. look at that, guys. That looks so nice. And again, the only thing I would do different, too, is what? Sprinkle some more Parmesan cheese on top. Okay. Gotcha. We but, should just Left some I didn't even think about I that. I didn't think about that. Either. No, I didn't think. So right. here's the noise. All right, a noise. And I have some plates uh, for it. Do you want to do a whole chicken? Do you want like that whole one? Oh, oh, look one. at you being, look at you being like, eat that whole chicken. <laughs> well, Jer, I've come eat to that know chicken. that you do want that whole chicken, so I, I thought do. I'd just go ahead and serve Thank you. Serve you. Well, I feel bad. Here, here's your plate now. Okay, well, don't feel bad because I'm so I didn't mean to. Whole chicken. <laughs> you eat that I'm chicken. I'm hungry this morning. Did you eat that little baby chicken? Did, where is I, it? I, did, I don't know. Where I saw it? I think it's still in here. I saw it on the plate, and then Wait, I where is gone, it? I thought, and I don't know. No, I haven't eaten any of it yet. No? No. Where'd it go? Where'd, it go? Where'd the baby chicken go? Somebody. Oh, right here. Oh, there. <laughs> There's the baby chicken. Okay. Go ahead. Do you, you mind if I chicken. eat this baby chicken? No, you eat that baby chicken. <laughs> it's the baby chicken. Yeah, it's a cute little baby chicken. You go ahead and okay. do that. This is going to be hot. Well, maybe mm. that's, is that too hot? It's delicious, but... I want your opinion first. Oh, oh, is it missing something? Hmm, it's very hot. Yeah, that's hard to taste, it, all the flavors. I'm just gonna um, cut it up for a minute. Oh, you wanna use this knife too here? Yeah, in a minute, okay. I, I'm fine taking a so, minute. So, but from your reaction, I felt like, and here's the problem, guys. I mean, these recipes are delicious, but when, when we make them quickly on TV like this, all the flavors can't congeal the way that they would if we had time to let it sit. Here's my initial thoughts. Uh -huh. Salt? Too salty. Oh, <gasps> too salty. That's my Really? Thought. The only thing that balances it right now for me oh. is the red pepper flakes. It gives me a little bit of oh, teeny okay. bit of heat. But I was like, man, that's salty. Totally agree. You know what I'm saying? It's very salty. And we didn't even add that much salt. I agree with you. Now, this is the thing that you wouldn't expect about me. I would, I would rather have it less salty than too salty. Because you can't do anything about that. No. Um, it's it's salty, and I don't know where we. I have gone to restaurants before where the, it was too salty, and I'm always disappointed about the, about that. Now, if you put it over pasta or something, that would that would help take it away. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, the yeah, pasta would. Yeah, that's a little too salty. It's a little too salty. It's. I mean, it's good. Am I eating it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat it. Is it salty? Yeah. I'm so sad. Why? Is it too salty? Yeah. I wonder if I get one of these tomatoes. They're very hot. Be, be very careful. Because those are just like. Yeah. Um, and so guys, we're not thing. we're not trying to tell you not to make this. No. Um, and hello, Diane. My neighbor said she wanted this recipe. We'll post this. But Diane, my advice to you though, cut the salt in half. Well, did it say salt to taste? Mm-hmm. Okay. But it said to do it in the pan, and I, the only other salt we had was in that marinade on the chicken. Yeah. So that's why I'm kind of confused. Yeah. I don't know. I'm still eating it. I'm so hungry. It, it, it's good. It's very good. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. And and the red pepper is is a nice addition. See, because that balances it. Afterwards, like I get the salt initially, mm -hmm. and then <clears throat> I get that little heat mm -hmm. at the it back. Helps. But the tomatoes are good. <gasps> oh my goodness. Mm. 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 It's oh, very yeah, hot. It's very hot. Um, well, here's the thing. Our salt shaker, you know what? I might invest in this. I might invest in uh, uh, another salt shaker mm -hmm. because, you know, it makes it, we can figure control it out. Control it more. Yeah, control it more. Control. But it's still good. Yeah. I just feel like it's, I don't want to let down our audience. One but. thing I'm really happy with is that there's plenty of sauce. And I, I oh. like that, because you and I always like to add extra mm -hmm. or double the sauce, because we don't like to be dry. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. I mean, here's the thing. You got all this sauce. Let's say you did use a pasta mm -hmm. or some other uh, filling agent, if you will, even on top of a pizza, a baguette, French toast. Oh, yeah. Like a, a French mm -hmm. bread mm -hmm. would be delicious, too, because then you can use the toast to sop it up. Oh, to sop it up. Sop it up. I like that. I like that so much. You could do that too. How is it I like to sop it up, but I don't like soggy bread? You know why? Because I think you eat it too fast for it to get too soggy. I think that's it. Because if you do let it sit, oh. Yeah. Like if I get a sandwich that gets wet or whatever, I don't want to eat it. Did but I like like dressing. Oh, I love dressing. It has lots of liquid but in it. But did you ever see the episode of Friends when Monica makes her Thanksgiving, leftover Thanksgiving Day sandwich, and she takes a piece of bread and soaks it in gravy and puts it in the middle of the sandwich, it's called the moist maker? Is it, that grosses me out. It grosses me out, too. Why would you want a soggy, gravy-soaked piece of bread in the middle of your turkey sandwich? I don't. To me, I just want it in my turkey. No. No, in my turkey. It was turkey. called the moist maker. I would not like that. Okay. No. Okay, should we rate it then, Kel? Okay. Go for it. I'm gonna give it, um, a 7.5 because of the too much salt. But that was my fault, I guess. I'm I'm giving it a 7.2. Okay. Yeah, it's a good recipe, guys. It really is. Just just control the salt. Yeah, yeah. taste it first, probably. Yes. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, till next time, we're Dishing it. it! Today's Dishing It was sponsored by Price Cutter, local matters.